back with comedian Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol and it's fucked up Friday and I am about to go through a fucked up Friday. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow and I've got nothing, absolutely fucking nothing. I hate birthdays and she loves birthdays. It's not a good combo and her birthday is the 21st of the 12th and remember back in 2012 when they thought the world was going to end on the 21st of the 12th, 2012, well, no one was praying for an asteroid more than I was. But it didn't, and here we are. Another year of me disappointing my wife on her birthday. A couple of years ago, I legitimately got her nothing. No present, no card, nothing. Just a happy birthday. I hope you have a good day. That was it. Let me tell you, she didn't take it as well as you might have thought. I was looking for something too. I'd forgotten her birthday again, so it was last minute. And I was like, do you know what? I'll make up for thoughtfulness with expense, which is a good play. Because birthday presents, price and thoughtfulness are very interchangeable. Usually price wins out. And so I was scanning through everything, looking for expensive things. And then I was like, ooh, everything's a bit too expensive. I can't really justify spending this much money on a shitty birthday. I can't. It's not in me. <laughs> it's not in me. Even if it means I'm going to be in shit for a long time. And then after I looked at the expensive section, I was like, let's rein it in a little bit. Let's bring it back a little bit further. I was like, I'll just get her a fucking massage or something. I'll just get a certificate from massage and fucking email her. And then I was like, I can't fucking email her a present. That's insane. And I'd left it too late to go to anywhere to get like a printout of anything. So I couldn't do that. I was like, massage, fucking massage, whatever. I'll buy her a fucking massage another day. And then I was like, flowers, she doesn't like flowers. Then I was like, chocolates, nah, I'll probably eat all the chocolates. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get her fucking nothing, you know? I'm just going to fucking alpha dog this thing. She always says I get her nothing, so how about taste a little bit of nothing? And so I woke up in the morning, I was like, happy birthday, babe. Love you, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, I didn't get you anything this year. And she started laughing. I'm like, no, no, like nothing. And she started laughing again. I'm like, no, babe, babe, stop laughing and start listening. I got you nothing, not even a card. I could have handwritten you a note, but I thought a handwritten note is worse than nothing. Hey, dude, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. That's what I would have written. I told her as soon as she woke up because I was like, I don't want her anticipating a big gift all day. So I was like, I'm getting you nothing. And I tried to drill it into her head. You're getting nothing. (laughs) You're getting nothing. Listen, listen to the words. But still, all day, she thought something was coming. And I probably had time to get something by then, in retrospect. But I had already played my card and I was sticking with it. I'm like, you're getting nothing. And then finally, at about 9.30 at night, she's like, I can't believe you got me nothing. And I'm like, you know what? Neither can I. I didn't think I had it fucking in me, but I do now. Now who's the fucking boss? And so this year we're in India, and I've forgotten about her birthday again until a couple of days ago. But I haven't had a chance to go anywhere and buy anything, so I'm like, fuck. I can't go the nothing again. You can only alpha dog at once. The second time, it's like, you're cruel. Your alpha dogging is cruel. So I'm here and I can't really escape. My wife and her mum went shopping today to buy her presents for tomorrow. And I got left at the house to do my thing. And I went into her dad's study to have a ponder about what I might get her for her birthday. And I couldn't think of a fucking thing. And then when I thought all hope was lost, I looked to my right. And what do I see? a framed certificate of star registration that my wife bought her parents for their anniversary. She bought them a star in their name. What a beautiful, thoughtful gift. And I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy my wife a star as a representation of our love, our eternal love. And then I was like, how many stars are there? Like a billion? A trillion stars? Have they ever counted? How many fucking stars are there? And then I was like, 
How much are these fucking stars? Name a fucking star. Then I looked it up. It's like fucking billions of stars. I'm like, what a fucking con job. Then I was like, all right, there's billions of stars. How much is it to name one of these fuckers? I looked it up, $40 to name a star. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you're paying $40 for a certificate and it gives you the coordinates of the star. I'm like, I had a telescope once and I couldn't even find the moon. How the fuck am I going to find the coordinates of this fucking star? You could just point to any star in the sky and go, yeah, that's yours. I bought it. She'll be like, but that's the sun. I'm like, yeah, it was fucking expensive. And then I'm like, I wonder if her parents ever called the registration to see if it was actually registered. Because I know they're definitely not looking up the coordinates. This could be a fake fucking certificate for all I know. And then I was like, hey, that's a good idea. A good friend of mine's a graphic designer. He can whip one of these up in like 10 minutes. And so I took a photo of her parents one and sent it to my good friend, comedian, Matt O'Neill. Fucking killer comedian. He's one of the best comedians in Melbourne at the moment. And he's a fucking gun artist and graphic designer. I'm like, bro, I'm in a pickle. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow. And I haven't got her anything. And I'm not getting her anything. Do you reckon you can whip one of these up? And he's like, sure thing. And so Matty Boy got it to me. And it looks good. So now all I need to do is print it off and frame it. And maybe buy a card. And you know what? This is going to come out before her birthday as well. And I can confidently say this on this podcast knowing she won't hear it because she doesn't fucking listen. It will also be a lesson to her. Pay more attention to your husband's career and what's going on. But I really hope she does like her fake star certificate. I'm pretty sure she'll like it. I'll tell her a couple of days later. I'll tell her the day after her birthday and then I'll post it on Instagram and Facebook. All right, so that's my fucked up Friday. Enjoy yours. Add me on Instagram. I'll post the fake certificate in a couple of days and hopefully it blows over pretty quickly. And yeah, enjoy your fucking weekend.